This is the continuation of the video about derivative of trigonometric functions. In this video, uh, I will discuss about the derivative of secant x, cosecant x, and cotangent x. Now, the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. The derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x. And the derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x. So now, uh, let's find the derivative of the following examples. Number 1, 5 secant x. So the derivative is, so since we have a constant here, so we will apply the constant multiple rule, wherein we need to copy the constant and multiply it by the derivative of secant x. So the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. So this is the final answer. Next, number 2, we have f of x equals 2 cotangent x minus cosecant x. So the derivative is, again, constant multiple rule here. So we have 2 times the derivative of cotangent x. The derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant x. Sorry, negative cosecant squared x. Then minus the derivative of cosecant x, which is negative cosecant x cotangent x. Now let's simplify. So this is equal to negative 2 cosecant squared x. Then uh, minus negative cosecant x. So we have plus cosecant x cotangent x x. So, we can write this as the final answer or we can factor out cosecant x. So, we could write the answer in factored form. So, we have cosecant x times negative 2 cosecant x plus cotangent x. This is the final answer. For item number 3, we have f of x equals secant squared x. So, um, this is in the form u raised to n. So, we're going to use the power rule combined with the chain rule to evaluate the derivative of this function. Recall that the power rule combined with the chain rule states that the derivative of u raised to n is equal to n u raised to n minus 1 times the derivative of u. So now, the derivative of the given function is, we will bring down 2 as a coefficient, copy the base, we have secant x, subtract 1 from the exponent, 2 minus 1 is 1, and then multiply by the derivative of u, derivative of the base. So the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. So multiply by secant x tangent x. Let's simplify. So this is equal to 2 secant squared x tangent x. So this is the final answer. Item number 4, f of x equals cotangent x over x. Um, as you can see, the function is in quotient form. So we're going to use the quotient formula to find its derivative. So recall that the quotient rule is the derivative of f over g is equal to g times a prime, the derivative of f the numerator, minus f times the derivative of g, derivative of the denominator, divided by g squared. So we're going to follow this formula in differentiating the given uh, function. So now f prime of x is equal to g f prime 
So, copy the denominator g. And then multiply it by the derivative of the numerator. The derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x. Then minus f, copy the numerator, cotangent x. And then multiply it by the derivative of the denominator. Derivative of x is 1. Then divided by the square of the denominator, x squared. So now let's simplify. So the product of x and negative cosecant squared x is negative x cosecant squared x. Then we have minus cotangent x over x squared. So this is the final answer. For the next examples, we're going to consider functions that will require the use of chain rule. So first, let's discuss the formulas. The derivative of secant u, where u is another function, is equal to secant u tangent u times the derivative of u with respect to x. du over dx here is the derivative of the argument of secant, which is the inner function in a chain rule. Next, the derivative of cosecant u is equal to negative cosecant u cotangent u times derivative of u with respect to x. Similar to the first example, du over dx here is the derivative of the argument of cosecant. Take note also that the first part of the formula, uh, for example, here we have negative cosecant u cotangent u, is the same as the derivative of cosecant x. That is because we are just using the chain rule in formulating these formulas. By observing and following the previous formulas, the derivative of cotangent u is equal to negative cosecant squared u times the der derivative of u with respect to x. You can also get this formula by, again, following the chain rule. So, let's proceed with example number 5. We have f of x equals cotangent x raised to 5 plus 3x. Now, its derivative is equal to, so we have cotangent. The derivative of cotangent u is negative cosecant squared u times derivative of u with respect to x. So, that's negative cosecant squared u. Just copy the argument x raised to 5 plus 3x and then multiply it by the derivative of the inner function derivative of x raised to 5 plus 3x so multiply this by derivative of x raised to 5 is 5x raised to 4 using the power rule and the derivative of 3x is 3 now the final answer is negative 5x raised to 4 plus 3 cosecant squared x raised to 5 plus 3x. This is the derivative of the function. Uh, number 6, we have f of x equals cosecant of sine x. So that is f prime of x is equal to, take note that this is not product. Uh, actually, the argument of cosecant is sine x. So, this is the inner function. So, now, we're going to use the formula for finding the cosecant. So, this one. So, we have negative cosecant sine x cotangent sine x times the derivative of u, derivative of the uh, argument of cosecant. So the derivative of sine x is cosine x. So this is the final answer. You may try solving for the derivative of these two functions and share it in the comment section. That's all. Thank you.